and I have been lubricating my pipe with olive oil. I call it olive oil, a virgin olive oil. It's all clean. Even underneath has been cleaned. The tools have left the building. So I have one wall left to paint and that wall is going to be a black wall because it's got black cabinet on it. Everything else is painted and finished. Wall of Fame, ready to have photos put up on it. Floor, still yet to be done. I'm going to do some vinyl tiles down on the floor. But it's clean and dust free. I'm going to leave this as timber and I'll just uh, wax it up so it looks nice and matches with the door and that bit of wood there. But there's no more sanding. So no more sanding means I can start to clean up and get things nice and sanitized. So this is good. I still have a bucket however for my waste because I haven't got my plumbing sorted out yet. Still working on it. Here's some of my polycarbonate that's been tapped and screwed in a triclovis. So I've got my lengths cut and all put together. I've got it full of uh, water at the moment. Let's put my finger on it. You see bubble raise up. So if it's got it full of water at the moment, just to check and make sure that uh, all my, oh, let's just put focus again, oh, check that all my connections are watertight. So I've got my pipe down here. I ended up going and getting um, the edge of the pipe turned down on the lathe, down to 20 mil, 20 mil, 21 mil, 21 mil, um, so that I could tap it because the pipe was a bit thicker than, um, than what the tap wanted. That's all good. So I got my links cut and took it to Banksy and got him to turn it down at both ends. So I have two sight glasses which just need tapping on the bottom. And this is the first pipe I did. I haven't uh, resealed this one yet, but this one is going to be going between here and here. But of course the tap, the valve at the bottom is going to be a bit higher, so it will fit. Anyway, I was going to tell you the secret of how to tap this stuff, because it's bloody hard to tap. It comes out really nicely once you've got it done, but shit, it's hard to do. The problem is the pipe, you can't hold on to it to take enough torque from the tap when you screw the tap on. So when you try and cut the threads it puts a lot of torque onto the pipe and there's just no way to hang on to it that tight. So what I end up doing is I can start a little tiny bit, so there's a little tiny bit, it's a little dirty pipe that I haven't cleaned up yet. Come on, focus on there. Come on camera. So I start a little tiny bit of tap and then I screw this on. So I screw the triclover in the end and I have a 90 degree bend on it and it's all clamped together. And if anybody's used triclovers before, these clamps are super strong. Okay, Once you've clamped it together a little bit, you cannot twist a triclover. But I screw that on the end of my pipe like so. One handed, put a camera in my hand. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. All right. I screw that on the end of my pipe with a little bit of tap that I have, the little bit of thread that I've got on there, and then I tap the other end because I can use this end as a lever and I can hold and, ridge and pull against the torque. So that's how I tap them. Another thing that I use is this. It's a rubber pipe grip. So of course you don't want to scratch 
your pipe. So this goes on. Let's just put a camera down. This goes on, pull it tight, and pull this tight, and there's an arrow in the direction of which way you're turning the pipe, which way the torque's going to hold. And I need a head cam really, don't I? Huh. Yeah, there we go. And I'll just bend this bit of rubber over here like this. And then we've got a really strong grip without damaging the clear pipe. So this is great. And one other thing that this is good for is undoing anything. Odd shaped bits and pieces that you need to unscrew. You know, but you know, if you've got a nut that's really tight, you can put that on it. Those big, you can get big things in there too. Great things. <coughs> anyway, that's part of my secret on how I do my polycarbonate pipe. I hope I said polycarbonate all the way through because sometimes I say perspex. It's not. It's polycarbonate. Um, the other thing I do is I lubricate it and I have been lubricating my pipe with olive oil, a good olive oil, a virgin olive oil. Um, when you screw the tap on you hear a squeak, if it's squeaking it's not lubricated. So put a bit of oil on it, it doesn't squeak and you've got a little bit of movement to try and go. But yeah, it does take a bit of grunt to get it done. Anyways. This is the brew house. What I have left to do now is get the plumbing sorted out, get the wiring sorted out, um, and brew a beer. That's all I've got to do. Plumbing, wiring, brew. <laughs>